Mamma Mia, here we go again. Come on. Can't catch a break. Today's video is going to be 24 of the most mundane things possible to put on a bucket list for 2024. So I'm just going to get straight into it. These are in no particular order, just the order that I decided they were going to be in. So number one is to do the Three Peaks Challenge. This is something that I've got planned for July. I'm doing it for charity. Very unfit. Need to work on that. Number two is I want to go to the opticians. I need an eye test. It's well overdue. I'm literally blind. So I'm going to do that this year. Number three is to get a first class on my second year of my degree, which is obviously this year. So that would be quite nice. Number four is to run a 5k. I don't strike myself as a runner, but I don't strike myself as a mountain climber either. So you never know. Number five is to visit a new country. I think I've done about eight or nine countries in the last two years. So it would be nice to do at least one this year. This year's kind of busier than other years though. So we'll see, but I would like to do that. Number six is to see my friends from Booktube. I haven't seen them in a hot minute because last year we were supposed to go to Wales, to Brooks, and my mental health said no. So I missed out and I'm really mad about it because we were going to go and see Six and ugh, ugh, I love Six. So this year we're going to Centre Parks and I'm going to be there and I'm going to hang out with my friends and it's gonna, I'm going to I'm going to have a blast. I'm going to have the best time in Centre Parks with my buddies. Number seven is to visit a new museum that I've never been to. And similarly, number eight is to visit a new art gallery that I've never been to. I like museums and galleries, but they're not the kind of thing that I... My phone just decided the storage was full mid-sentence. So yeah, they're not the kind of thing that I actively seek out, but I want to do that more because I really enjoy the kind of culture that comes with it, etc. So I'm going to try and do that more. Number nine is I'd like to go to a gig, concert, see some live music of some kind. I haven't done this in a while and I enjoy it, so I'd like to do it again this year. Number 10 is I'd like to try a new skill. I haven't decided what the skill is, but I feel like I want to learn something new this year, something useful. Number 11 is to write something longer. And by longer, I mean like longer than a blog post. It doesn't necessarily have to be something that goes out into the world, but I think it'd be nice to write something more long form than a blog post, like maybe a short story or something along those lines. Number 12 is to vote in the general election. We're going to get a general election this year and I'm going to vote in it. Number 13 is to reopen my Etsy shop. Don't know what I'm going to sell, but I really enjoyed it when it was open and I'd love to get back into that environment. And I really enjoy like e-commerce as a thing. I always have. I've done it quite well in the past. So it'd be nice to do that again. Number 14 is go to the dentist. I haven't been to the dentist in a hot minute and I promised my boyfriend to go to the dentist. So I'm going to go to the dentist. Number 15 is... I want to go to the theatre. I want to see something in the theatre. I want to see a musical or a play or just something in the theatre. Um, number 16 is to get tested for ADHD. Because I think I have ADHD. So I'd like to know, for realsies, if I have ADHD. It'd be nice. Um, number 17 is I want to get a haircut. I don't get my haircut very often. I think the last time was like September. Not that long ago. But it was like a back to school haircut. Um, so... I've, I'm gonna need a haircut at some point this year, it's guaranteed. Number 18 is go to a live sports game. It's another thing I haven't done in a while. I've kind of seen uni sports, but I'd like to kind of go to, maybe it's a Sunday league game, maybe it's a proper league game. I don't know, just something, be nice. Number 19 is to read 10 non-fiction books because I really fell off the wagon with non-fiction. When I started booktube, non-fiction was basically the only thing I read and now I don't read it at all. And I love non-fiction, so I want to get back into it. Number 20 is to return the library book that I stole in 2021. I can't even begin to imagine what the fees look like on this book. But I kind of put it in my room and then never returned it. It's Haruki Murakami. And I just stole it. Like, it just, I own it now, I guess. I probably paid, like, ten times as much as the book's worth in fees to have this book in my house. So I'm going to I'm going to take that back with you. Number 21 is I want to exercise 7 days in a row, which seems like it's probably like a really easy thing for a lot of people, but habits and like sticking to things aren't my forte. 
So if I can prove to myself that I can, that I can actually like work out seven days in a row, I don't know, I kind of like that vibe. Number 22 is something I mentioned in my goals and that is to be debt free. I'm going to do that this year. Number 23 is to go to a theme park. Another thing I haven't done in a while. My weight kind of makes me feel a bit eh about theme parks when I am this heavy. But I lost a bunch of weight before and I was like, ah, vibes. Um, so I'd like to kind of do this more towards the end of the year probably. But I would like to do it nonetheless. And number 24 is get a blood test. Because I think there's something wrong with me other than potentially ADHD. Something on the inside that makes me so EP and so sleepy. So I would like to find out what that is. If it's anything, maybe it's just me. It's just me as a person. But those are the 24 really mundane things that I'm going to do this year. I hope you had a horrible time. And I'll see you next time with another video. Probably. Dog. <laughs>